Well, what I find is that every European country, well, every country has its own unique way of coming to craft brewing. Uh, the end result is the same, but how they get there is different. So the Danes, for example, Denmark, really early, like 2003, 2004, they were going nuts. You know, they were opening a brewery every week, and it went up, and then it went down, and now it comes back up again. Sweden was really slow because they have a state monopoly that slowed things down, but it also curated. You know, so, you know, yes, people, you know, grew more slowly, but they didn't go out of business. You know, so they would, you know, climb, 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 and everybody is still in business in Sweden, whereas so many went out of business uh, in Denmark. In Italy, you know, it's like bella figura. You know, everybody is like, uh, they never even brew a Pilsner or a Pale Ale. Their first beer has 12 ingredients, 15 ingredients, and they want to uh, live beautiful and uh, die young and fast, you know. And so they're going, and you have like maybe 10 or 15 truly great brewers, and then you have a lot of guys who are just making fashion, and then you have a lot of guys who are going from making fashion to saying, I think I might be serious about this and going further. And so the Italian brewing scene is very Italian. You know, it, it really encapsulates. When you go to Japan, you know, the creativity is not as much, but when they do it, they, they, do, they come correct. Like everything is like, you don't taste so many bad beers in Japan. You go to Brazil, you get a mixture of people are like, you know, everything is like warm and friendly. The, uh, the atmosphere, you know, is beautiful. They are actually uh, really ahead in the idea of thinking about what is Brazilian. You know, and what is Brazil? Like, what does it mean? And how do we bring, you know, our own thing to craft beer? I think that eventually France, I hope, will be more like that. You know, because France is a great beverage country, a great food country. It has sent its culinary, you know, learning, you know, all over the world. And so, you know, for France to make, uh, to spend too much time making American IPA or whatever else, is a little bit silly. I mean, I mean, I love American IPA, of course, uh, you know. But uh, yeah, I, I want, I want, I want to see like what is French, you know? What is going to be French beer? You have the beer de garde tradition. So what will be the new idea of, of French beer? And I think that it's going to be very creative. Um, I'm starting to see it now, like in the restaurants, you know. Uh, 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 being around, you know, uh, tasting the food, seeing the way that uh, uh, Paris now embraces uh, the backgrounds of all the many people who live here. You know, now a more multicultural uh, city than it once was. And people are like really into it and saying, you know what, this is part of our heritage too. And we're taking the, this in and we're gonna make it part of our food. Uh, I think that it becomes part of the beer, it becomes part of the scene. Uh, you know, we are already aging beer in cognac barrels, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I, yeah, I can't wait until, you know, a lot of the brewers here discover all the great barrels that are out in the countryside here because I know about them, I'm getting them already. Uh, you know, once these guys get them, they're going to have more fun than me. Um, so I, I think it's going to be great. What, what we saw when we came to France we, we got a wonderful reception from regular people here at Fiend Moose, uh, at other you know, beer bars and among people. 